All right, coming to you live in front of a studio audience with my mom and my family here at Stephen Cookies here in Margate, New Jersey. This is one of my favorite restaurants in all of New Jersey. I come here with my family. Um, when I'm back home, we've got a place in Ocean City, New Jersey. My mom is shaking the table like crazy. Thank you very much. Um, but we are just finishing up dinner here. So I figured I'd bring you a, a little video of something that I enjoyed at dinner today, which is really, really delicious. It is a Syrah from Washington State. There's a lot of exciting things happening up there. The sommelier here recommended the bottle. I thought it was absolutely delicious. This is called Force Majeure. Um, a really, really delicious Syrah blended with a little bit of uni and I believe the bottle said a little bit of Roussan as well, so lots of Rhone bridles. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm loving what's happening up there. They are creating really, really beautiful classic examples of Syrah. They're also doing things a bit more New World in style. This is something that I would consider sort of right in between there, so something that's kind of ripe on the nose but not overripe it has a little bit of that gaminess and what I love about Syrah and I think what's really interesting is Syrah when it's blended with Viognier tends to taste more like Syrah and it's something that they typically do in Cote Roti it's a it's a method that's often done with Syrah in uh, the Rhone region and is being uh, you're seeing it more in California more here in uh, in Washington state and on the nose here lots of lots of that roasted charcuterie really really dark black cassis fruit and you get a little bit of that like tiny bit of perfume on this nose and I really really love it it's been really opening and developing over the course of the last hour and a half two hours that we've been enjoying dinner but what I love is the ripeness on the nose is kind of mitigated by the tannin in this wine so what I mean is there's a lot of density and there's a lot of intensity, but the viscosity is just really, really soft, but it's got nice grip, so it, it nothing feels out of balance right now. It feels really, really integrated and proper, and oh, I'm just really enjoying this. Mm. Enjoyability factor of this wine, top notch. On the wine list, it was about 100 bucks, a total steal. Um, fantastic acidity, really, really lovely. Uh, if you are someone who loves Merlots, uh, Cabernets, red wines that have a little bit more density, a little bit more body, and you love eating things like charcuterie, I highly recommend giving Syrah a try. Syrah is one of my favorite grapes of all time. Um, Rene Rostang La Lindon from Cote Roti is one of my favorite, like, aha moment bottles. It can be really, really aggressively, like, tastes like a meat stick, tastes a little bit gamey, tastes a little like you're walking into a butcher shop and it has that sort of visceral, carnal feel to it. This has a little bit more fruit, a little less of that like meaty intensity, but it's definitely under there. They're going nuts behind me. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Um, anyway, if you guys find yourself here in New Jersey and out uh, near Margate, please do give Stephen Cookies a try. They have seriously one of the best wine lists I've ever seen. I think they do such a phenomenal job curating it. I always love coming here. They take excellent, excellent care. And uh, I think I'm just gonna enjoy the last little bit of this wine in style and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas Eve Eve I will see you all tomorrow with the rest of my family when we open some cool bottles for dinner um, which I believe it's gonna be a little bit of burgundy and a little bit of Italian and I'm sorry I don't have the bottle for you guys to see but I will put it in the comments below so thank you all for watching it's been real have a good night